All right, so I have completed my McFarland Toys pickups that I did in the United States of America. I'm very selective with my McFarland Toys. A lot of you guys know this. I don't just buy every single solitary one. And these are the ones that I recommend getting. So we're starting it off. If you're watching this video, it's a very long video. So sit back, have some popcorn. Batman, the Batmanga Japanese version from the 60s. Absolutely fabulous figure. Don't sleep on this one, guys. Honestly, it's... Out of all the figures, it's using the older models of McFarlane Toys. It's very rigid, very stiff. Not much in terms of articulation you can do, but in terms of aesthetics and the paint job on it, this is probably one of the best figures. Honestly, all of them here that you see in this video, compared to other McFarlane Toys, this I recommend all these figures because this is, I firmly believe, his best work so far this year of all these figures that you've seen in the thumbnail. And, yeah, so anyway, so Batman, Batman up there with the red battering. Again, if you guys missed it the first, second time around, how we got them to stay on the action figure stand is beyond me here. I still look at this and I marvel. I'm like, how do we get them to do this? Like, I'm McFarlane Toys. This is not a Mafex and this is not a Mesco. Get them to stand upright there, kind of like tilted with the rope there where we were able to basically secure it and make it look like he's swinging pretty cool eh not bad anyway so that's batman batmega definitely recommend him adam like why no one no one talks about ray palmer the adam like like he's cool i mean listen he came before am man all right let's he is mr microscopic here mr adam the smallest molecule or one of the smallest molecules right but anyway cool looking Again, it's nice that you can also get the interchangeable small little atom that you can scale with him and look make it look like he's shrinking. I would have liked the smaller atom to have a little bit more paint on him in terms of the emblem on his cowl and his belt, but that's okay. You know what? You're getting your money's worth here. You're getting two figures, so it's pretty cool to pose them. Again, get action figure stands, guys. You can do a lot more of McFarlane toys and make them way more interesting instead of them just standing there. Again, definitely going to be in a lot of people's top 10. And I wasn't even going to buy this. I'm like, ah, you know, Batman, he's got rips in his suit. Man, I thank God I bought this uh, two-pack of Batman vs. Bane Nightfall. If you guys have not bought it yet, if you've not seen the videos that we've done on it, check them out. Type in Sammy's Collectible Toys Hole, Batman vs. Bane. I'm telling you, the video we did of them battling is probably one of our best videos I think we've done all year, to be honest with you. But anyway, um wire cape as you guys can see there the blue on him just boom pops out you got to be a fan of this suit right some people just like the midnight black suit i grew up in the 80s you know 70s reading the batman comics this is to me like very classic looking batman in the outsiders type suit there and it's just you know what i'm this is the most pleasant surprise of 2024 for for us here at sammy's collectible toys hall because i literally was not gonna buy this and then I did get it at GameStop. I'm like, okay, you know what? 70 US dollars. I mean, you know, it's kind of pricey, but, you know, I don't know. I'll grab it. And I was very happy with it. Like, just just look at the pose there and the colors. Just, again, the wire cape is critical with this Batman figure. Just, you could do a lot with it. And the articulation on this one is awesome, too. It's one of the more newer uh, McFarlane Toys models that he has upgraded to with their, you know, with his Batman or just in general, his figures, right? Like, waist level good knee crunch you can move his legs around you know a lot you can do with this batman figure compared to just like the bat bat manga one which was an older model Bane. oh wow I, I, honestly when you unbox him you're like hmm, you know what he's massive and the colors on him really pop out they did a good job on this one again this is the surprise you know two pack or just action figures of the year for me to be honest with you i was not going to get this like i said and thank goodness i did i'm very happy with it Watch our video, guys. Type in Batman vs. Bane, McFarlane Toys, 2-pack, Sammy's Collectible Toys. I'll watch the video we did with it. If you missed it, the battle scenes we did with it is just the funnest photography videos I've done in a long time. Very pleasurable doing it. Then we have the classic-looking Green Arrow. A lot of people are missing on this one. I'm telling you, man, this is awesome. Very well done. The greens on him really stand out. Again, these McFarlane Toys, the Compared to other ones, again, I'm very selective of McFarlane toys. I'm, you guys know that. You've been following my channel since, since the onset. I'm very selective of which ones I buy from them. And like I said, all these figures you're seeing right now are, are well worth it. They're nostalgic. They're well sculpted. And 
yeah, it's his best work. Honestly, I think McFarlane needs to kind of stick to a few of these retro nostalgic uh, figures because, um, especially comic version, because I think he does a really good job with it. And I think the people that work at McFarlane Toys take a little bit more care in terms of putting together the presentation and just the overall appearance and just they care about it a little bit more. Not saying he doesn't care about the other figures, but some of them you've seen, you're like, there's a reason why they're in clearance for eight, seven dollars. They're just, they don't look good. Their articulation is not good on them. And there's just no real big market for them, right? This is a big market for comic book readers, especially of DC Comics, okay? So anyways, that Green Arrow, I mean, getting that pose again was difficult. <laughs> again, it's all about action figure stands. The sleeper of the year. I'm telling you, I had my eyes on this one. I don't care what anyone says here. This is the ultimate Sergeant Rock. Yeah, wicked. If you read his comics, his comics were amazing, man. Well ahead of its time here. You're talking about Deadpool being a violent movie. Man, read Sergeant Rock comics, man. They're fantastic grief. Anyway, um, well, before the, the Sergeant Rock comics to me were like graphic novels back in the 80s and the 70s. Anyway, um, yes. So uh, the big knock on this one was the accessories. Nothing about the looks because it looks phenomenal. Accessories. Guys, get creative. Do what I just did right there. Grab yourself a G.I. Joe bullet chain vest. Go to a thrift store. Go to a toy store. Buy a cheap toy. And just you could accessorize them. And you can buy guns with them. Like, that's not a big deal. Like, honestly, it'll cost you five bucks at best to accessorize them. Not even. And what a difference it makes with the chain belt on him around his chest there, which pays homage to him as appearance in the comics and the gun. Right? I mean, listen, go watch Sergeant Rock videos that people have done reviews on. We're a little bit different here at Sammy's Collectible Toys. We like to think outside the box. We accessorize them. We have the Sergeant Rock comic here, putting it together, presentation. You look at it and you say, yeah, you know what? That's a totally different figure from, like, you know, just watching normal reviews about the chain belt, the uh, bullet chain belt on him and the gun. Those two accessories, again, cheap. Accessorize them. It makes a world of difference. You've got a brand new figure. It looks amazing as it is without it, but just adding these features, whew, Great, and I've got it has pretty good articulation as well too. It's a sturdy figure, and the paint job on it is nice. Now I know with this face, it's not paint. It's not exactly precise like the Sergeant Rock from the comics, but you know what? It's more modernized, and I'm okay with it. All right, so that's our McFarland Toys review.